Hi, I'm Dr. Arun Parthani. I'm a senior consultant, joint replacement arthroscopy and sports injury at Rukmini Birla Hospital, Jaipur. And uh, today we'll be talking about musculoskeletal health and things around it. So uh, we know that the low back pain and neck pain can be benefited by staying active and exercising regularly. And when we when talk about exercise, we are not just talking about cardio. We are talking about stretching regimes, uh, the cardio and a balance between uh, these two and the muscle building. Uh, for that group exercise programs or weight loss support can be considered because uh, these weight loss, as, as soon as you lose weight, the joints, the strain on the joints becomes less. Also to reduce the incidence of falls, we should uh, do balance and strength training. We should do always do a home hazard assessment. We should participate in fall prevention programs. Uh, we should add cushioning to the sharp edges and support systems in geriatric for geriatric people. And we should be getting involved in activities like gardening, dancing. Uh, all those they increase your proprioception and uh, improve your balance. And osteoarthritis in general has also been shown to be benefited from activities and exercises that improves muscles and aerobic fitness. When we are talking about this, we are talking about walking, swimming, pilots. Weight loss support, as I told you, can be rendered if required. If we talk about interventions, so we know as we grow old, our joints start becoming stiffer, the bones start becoming brittle. That's why uh, an old geriatric age group, they have uh, certain fractures and uh, arthritis and all these things involved with that. So we should uh, always, always focus on stretching and good healthy food, which should increase our uh, bone strength in terms of green and white and a good dietary support of calcium and vitamin D because we have seen associated risk of uh, proximally fractures with vitamin D deficiency. So a good regular diet uh, and good regular supplements in terms of calcium and vitamin D will decrease your chances of hip fractures and decrease the disability years. So increase your quality of life and uh, lesser morbidity. The exercises should have a balance of, as I told you, stretching, strengthening, and cardio. And uh, definitely weight loss because Indian, we have, a, we, we, have a, we have a pair type of body with high weight and buttocks and uh, around the abdomen. So we should uh, take care of our fat, fat intake, sugar intake. And uh, also, uh, we should have an adequate exposure to sun for our healthy bones. So I can conclude here, we should all understand that um, but as soon as we go, grow old, it doesn't mean that we should start having a sedentary lifestyle because sedentary lifestyle have, have been shown to uh, impair our musculoskeletal health in terms of weight gain, in terms of uh, poor uh, uh, ligament strength and poor ligament st uh, stretching. So you have high risk of ligament injuries, meniscal injuries, and um, also uh, uh, sedentary lifestyle raises your uh, BMI and the hip fractures when you, when you fall. A high weight means, high obesity means up, you will be having a high chances of a hip fracture due to the strain on it. So obesity is one thing which should be taken care of. Also, you should increase the type 2 muscle fibers in your body because type 2 muscle fibers, when in both in terms of numbers and the cross-sectional area, because they have been shown to have a good impact on your uh, quality of life. In osteoporosis supportive medicines, you can consider like uh, bisphosphonates or if required, teriparatide hormone injection. Also, and for osteoarthritis, you should take supplements uh, when and when required. The childhood obesity is one thing because these days the children have been very much involved into the mobile activities and uh, there have been incidents of lesser activity also due to corona pandemic. We have seen that the children have been restricted uh, to indoors. So child obesity, childhood obesity is one thing which is uh, going to become an epidemic everywhere. So we should take care that our, our children, they do proper physical exercises, they take, take healthy food, avoid junk and uh, keep doing their uh, running, jump, jumping, jogging and any kind of sports activity which they can do.